Buongiorno! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nora. Today is finally the follow-up I uh, promised you about my first impression on some niche brands. I tested all of them uh, more than once just to be sure and I will tell you everything about longevity, sillage, when to wear it. So if you are interested then keep on watching. If you didn't see my um, first impression video, I will leave it linked here uh, if you want to watch it. Uh, but today I will do a full review and a summary of everything um, about these fragrances. We have Amouage, we have Diptyque, we have Creed, we have a lot of very, very exciting brands today. Um, so if you are interested, then keep on watching. So I'm going to follow the same order uh, like in my first impression and we will start with Amouage. I did spray all of them again on a stripe just to remind myself. We have here Amouage Sunshine. It's a very famous uh, fragrance from Amouage and I think a lot of people uh, love it. Uh, this is the one for women of course. Um, um, unfortunately, um, although this fragrance is really unique and I do appreciate it, uh, on my skin I get only a smoky tobacco. Um, I don't get the fruit or the apricot uh, smell that a lot of people get um, from the Osmantas here. Uh, this is on my skin. Of course, you can smell quality, so uh, quality-wise, this fragrance will not disappoint you at all. I think all Amouage uh, fragrances are mm, really uh, good uh, quality. Um, uh, it has a nice projection and longevity is amazing. Um, on my skin, as I said, it gets a little bit, you know, you get only the smoky part, which is not exactly what I want. And although it's still, it's a unique fragrance and I like it, if I uh, put in consideration the price tag, because Amouage is really a pricey uh, brand, um, I don't think I will buy this one. And by the way, be careful uh, not to spray this on your clothes be because it will stain it. Um, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> and yeah, a very fun fact. My cat went cuckoo smelling this fragrance. Uh, when I took off the shirt where I sprayed this fragrance, my cat jumped on it and started to lick like the part where uh, the fragrance was, it was really soaking wet. <laughs> it's really uh, strange. But anyway, um, you would imagine this to be a summer fragrance. For me, this is absolutely not a summer fragrance. This is um, more autumn fragrance, in my opinion, um, because of the smoky part. Uh, there is no freshness in this fragrance. so. For me, imagining wearing this fragrance during summer, mm, it's very difficult. So, yeah, this was Amouage Sunshine. Next, I have uh, Amouage Honor. And this is a summer fragrance. This is a white floral, heavy on gardenia. It has also jasmine and lily of the valley. But I mostly smell gardenia. Um, and you get also a little bit of the green part uh, from gardenia, but it's not like sharp, um, like in, for example, um, uh, Chanel Les Exclusive gardenia. This is very dif different gardenia. In uh, like about an hour, it becomes um, more creamy and airy and romantic. I don't know. Um, the first time I smelled this fragrance, I got the image of, I don't remember the actress, how her name, I will try to find like a picture and, uh, and insert the picture. Uh, if you know the movie uh, 
English patient, there was a scene where she is wearing like a white dress. It's, it's exactly, this is a white dress, summer uh, fragrance, so feminine, so romantic. Um, very, very good performance uh, for like this kind of a fragrance. Uh, it projects moderately, let's say. It's not a, a beast. So um, for me, this is the kind of projection that I am looking for. Really, really nice fragrance. Um, again, will I buy it? This is uh, where I am a little bit on the fence because of the price tag. And watch is really very, very expensive. And although I like the fragrance, it's not unique enough for me as a white floral to buy it. I may change my mind because this is a summery fragrance. So I maybe when I wear it during summer, I will change my mind. So, um, but for now, um, this is not something uh, I uh, would wear. Um, although also this has um, incense uh, in the notes. I don't get it. I just get a very nice white flower with very slight green notes, but really you, and I'm very sensitive to green notes, but you almost can't um, like smell it. So don't worry about it. This is absolutely beautiful. If you love gardenia, go for it. It's beautiful. So that was uh, Amouage Oda. Next we have a Diptyque Philosophers and if you did watch my first impression video, you will know I didn't like this fragrance, like at all. Um, this is a green fig um, fragrance and I don't mind fig uh, in perfumes, but this is not your um, fig fruit. This is your fig tree. It's very, very, very green. Um, with a little bit of wood, so as I said, it's 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 like a fig tree. You don't get so much the fruit, uh, so there is no sweetness to my nose in this fragrance. It's I actually, it's very difficult for me to say I hate a fragrance, but this one I actually hate it. Is it a good fragrance um, as a green fragrance? Let's say like that. Yes. But I find it really difficult, unless you are someone who really appreciates green notes, that someone would like this fragrance and not like it. Let's let's okay. Let me rephrase this. I I find it difficult for someone to actually wear this fragrance. You may like it, but to wear it. I don't know. For me, uh, it's a, a definite no. Um, it's very realistic, so if you are looking for a fig tree <laughs> representation, but which is really realistic, go for this one. Uh, it's it's the perfect representation. So that was a uh, Diptyque Philosophos. Next, I have another fragrance from Diptyque, and this is Diptyque Oudwell. So Diptyque Oudwell is definitely a unique fragrance and one of the best vanilla I ever smelled. Uh, and this is coming from a person who is not a very uh, vanilla fan. I don't hate it, but it's not like my favorite note in fragrances. And this is a vanilla fragrance, but it's quite unique because this is a more woodsy vanilla. It has some aromatic notes. Mm, uh, some very touches of a uh, resinous uh, vibe. It has black tea and you can get some of the black tea here. Not too much, it's just mm, really in the background. The main player in this fragrance is vanilla, but this is a vanilla that uh, is not cloying for me. So uh, I can actually wear. Is it my favorite? Absolutely not. But I can see someone who loves vanilla and wants to like try uh, more of a unique vanilla that is uh, not salty or a, like uh, a dessert like vanilla you should try this one it's really really nice it has a very good longevity 
um, sillage is like uh, you will have like a scent bubble uh, so this is not a beast mold fragrance but you will have like a really nice scent bubble around you for for uh, quite some time and it has a very nice longevity uh, you can smell uh, uh, the quality of the vanilla here uh, so yeah diptyque well is definitely worth the hype in my opinion if you like vanilla fragrances next i have creed version island um, water and this is uh, like the perfect name for this fragrance so uh, nice like a, a breeze of fresh air in a very hot summer day uh, in the opening you get a very realistic lime almost like when you peel a lime like for dessert this is exactly what you get um in the dry down it becomes um less prominent and not so realistic anymore um uh, this fragrance reminds me of a, like a sprite or seven up drink with a wedge of lime in it it's not that it's sparkly but it, it has this fresh almost minty dried out so refreshing really nice i can't wait to try this one in summer and definitely this is a win for me but again <laughs> seeing the price tag of crete fragrances i'm not so sure <laughs> i'm not so sure about uh, about buying it um, um, but just to be clear, the realistic part of this fragrance is only in the opening. In the dry down, it smells more artificial, but not cheap. Not like an artificial cheap. Um, yeah, it's, it just reminds me of like you are sitting in maybe by the beach or something in a very hot summer day and you are sipping a very cold 7up or sprite with a witch of lime in it and this is exactly what i get it has some sweetness which i get i get uh, i guess comes from uh, the sugar in this fragrance but it's not sugary it's just a hint of of of, of sweetness i like it i like it a lot when i will try this in summer i can say if i will buy it or not um <sighs> If you talk about longevity and sillage so longevity is not so good but for this kind of fragrance because these kind of fragrances don't last very long let's be honest so no sillage here just in the opening of course because it's a fresh uh, fragrance but that's it so that was a creed version island water now let's get to eccentric molecule molecule o1 this is quite unique <laughs> it's really really unique it has only one synthetic com um, component and this is iso e super which has a little bit of a woody musky um, smell and i absolutely agree uh, it smells clean uh, it smells a little bit woody but i don't agree with the pencil shaving um, that everybody um, smells i just smell clean wood um, problem with this fragrance for me um, and this is something that is well known actually about this fragrance this is a fragrance that people will smell and you will not get so much um, and I'm a person who uh, like wears fragrances for herself so I am a person who doesn't care about compliments and so on so I really uh, like to smell myself and unfortunately this fragrance doesn't do it for me because it's not like you don't smell yourself at all but sometimes you smell yourself sometimes you don't it's just a very weird fragrance and the weirdest thing about this one is that I sprayed this one on my clothes and and after washing it while I was like taking out my clothes I smelled it so nice I was shocked so I didn't smell it 
uh, while so I didn't smell this fragrance before but after washing it I could smell it so it's really strange but it was just for like a few seconds and then it was gone um, I like it I also tried uh, like uh, layering this fragrance with other fragrances like um, Jo Malone, Wood Sage, uh, Wood Sage and Sea Salt to give uh, um, more longevity to the fragrance. Unfortunately, I did try the test where I did like uh, a Wood Sage and Sea Salt on one hand and layered it on the other hand and I found no longevity um it and I, even i didn't like layering it with this kind of fragrance because it just um emphasized the woody part of wood sage and sea salt and i didn't appreciate that actually so uh, um, i can't even try to layer this fragrance so uh, this is a fragrance that i'm on the fence as a smell, I like it a lot, but I don't smell it, so I don't know. Uh, I think this is a kind of fragrance that everybody will have a different, like, not also a different experience with. So you have to try this fragrance for yourself. So this was Eccentric Molecule Molecule 01. Next, I have Juliet Has a Gun vanilla vibes and this is i have to say my favorite of all of them this is vanilla mixed with salt it's just so addictive so at first i didn't like it so much as i said i don't i'm not a fan of vanilla but then i continued to get this like um, whiffs i think it's called like whiffs of this fragrance while, while wearing it and it has a very nice performance by the way so nice so nice um this is a tropical for me this is a tropical fragrance but not but without like the typical yellow uh, flowers that you would get very unique i know in the in, in like in the notes there is benzoin and musk and sandalwood but you don't it's so it's blended in a very nice way you get a very strange vanilla that reminds me of some kind of dessert leaf but i can't put my like finger on it so a lot of people when they describe this fragrance they describe it like walking by a, a beach in a tropical island something like that i don't get so much like sea yes i get the island vibe but the water here like the mm, aspect of water uh, kind of vibe i get like from like a waterfall or uh, uh, something like that in an island so there is salty uh, air that comes from the sea but it's it's not like in your face it's just a little bit away if i'm hope i hope i'm making sense here it's so nice so addictive this is a very addictive fragrance and the nice thing about this one that actually the price is absolutely amazing so Juliet has a is a niche brand but a niche brand that is affordable which I totally appreciate and I can't wait to test more fragrances I already tested some but not mm, a lot uh, because yeah the price tag is really really nice is it does it smell like a niche no <laughs> let's be honest this doesn't smell like niche but but again I, I i love this fragrance i can tell you that this one is definitely worth the hype next we have a very particular fragrance and this is a beast mode a fruity bomb and this is arrasasi layukalam jasmine wisp this is a middle eastern brand very affordable but i don't like it not because of like it's a fruit bomb and so but be careful with this fragrance because this fragrance turned 
metallic on my skin which is an issue with me also uh, which is an issue also for me uh, with uh, Scandal à Paris and uh, uh, La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Although that said, Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, sometimes does the metallic thing and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this one, every time I tried it, it gives me the metallic vibe. I can't tell you for sure from where this comes, but I think it comes from the pear composition in all three fragrances. Um, so test this on your skin and don't lie by it, or you can test Jean Paul Gaultier, uh, La Belle, or uh, Scandal uh, à Paris and see if it turns metallic or not. Because I know another uh, German YouTuber who has the same issue, not with this one, but with La Belle. So this is just something that I have uh, to uh, like. Uh, tell you about um, it's very very girly very heavy loud really performance on siage and this one you can't even imagine it's just a bomb and it has a lot of fruits so you get peach you have uh, passion fruit you get pear uh, uh, it has amber and tonka I mean, but what you get is a total fruit bomb. If you like fruity fragrances, whoa, go for this one. Price is amazing. Sillage is really amazing. Performance, it, it lasts almost uh, like the entire day. So check it out. Um, Rasazi Jasmine Whisper. Next, I have Van Cleef on Arpels California Reverie. This is your typical tropical scent, very heavy on the frangipani. So if you like frangipani, this is the one for you. Fortunately for me, I don't like this one because it's more, uh, but it, for a more personal reason. And let me explain myself here. Frangipani is a, tr uh, is a flower that I'm familiar with because there were quite uh, frangipani uh, trees uh, where I lived like people uh, had it in their gardens so I'm very familiar with the scent but it's also a very popular scent to use in like um, toilet freshener you know like things stuff like that so I remember this smell exactly like this exactly I almost can smell it exactly like that there was this kind of a weird uh, toilet uh, like uh, scent you know what they what they put in the bathroom but it was like in a, in a jelly consistency that wasn't a, like white thing and you have like kind of a very uh, jelly uh, kind of stuff which has like this frangipani smell uh, where uh, and a lot of people and restaurants and etc this put in the bathroom so and i usually hated this stuff because usually it was dirty and ugh. anyway so this is why this fragrance for me smells really cheap this may not be the same for you so for me this is a no-no uh, by the way van cleef and arpels is not a niche brand it's actually a designer it's considered designer because it's actually a jewelry brand so it's like tiffany like uh, a lot of jewelry uh, designer brands that uh, come out with fragrances um so if you like tropical scents and you like from japan it's nice has an average longevity and sillage but again it's not very expensive so i know uh, the fragrance has vanilla and bee wax and uh, jasmine but mostly what you get in this fragrance is from japan so yeah this was van cleves and arpel california reverie last we have the very famous by Rado baldafric so this is a woody aromatic floral. It's quite unique. 
has some greenness in it. Unfortunately, this fragrance, it gives me a headache. For me, this is a kind of a summer fragrance uh, because it's quite fresh. Uh, a lot of people uh, consider this a little bit of seductive, like sexy fragrance. I don't know what they are talking about. I can see how this one is like seductive and sexy. But again, this is something that is really subjective. So for me, it's not. It's just a very unique kind of a fresh aromatic uh, fragrance. It's quite, it's really unique. You have to try it for yourself. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a bestseller for a reason because it's truly unique. Try it if you like woody, aromatic, fresh, with some kind of a floral note. Um, it has orange blossom, but I, I, I honestly don't get orange blossom. You get some flowery note, but no sweetness here. With that, I finished all uh, the fragrances that I tried. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, please tell me in the comments down below uh, if you tried any of these or if um, you agree or even disagree with some of the things that I said. So I really had fun actually with my first impression also with this uh, video testing all of these fragrances and playing with them and seeing if they are worth the hype or not. If you like these kind of uh, videos, please tell me in the comments down below. Uh, and if you did like this one, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel if you didn't already. And see you next time. Ciao.